today is 26th. Now we are again going out. Today it is Rome. Enjoy Rome at on your own, okay? okay? So I repeat you once again, my name is Andrea, so you can call me in a very friendly way, yeah? Like all my friends or all the members of my family, yeah? Andrea. Yes, I know it's a little bit strange for you because in the anglo in the Anglo-Saxon countries, this name is used for the female gender, isn't it? Probably you have some uh, some uh, female friends which name is uh, Andrea. Mm. Mm. But this name in Italy is very common for boys and men. Eh? And in actual fact, uh, this name comes from a Greek word, has a Greek etymology, which means the man, manly. Eh? Okay, so just to let you know. Eh? Okay, right. So today with us we have uh, our motor coach driver, which name is uh, Gianni. Okay, Gianni is the name of your driver. And uh, we talked together before, and uh, he just told me that he's at the first day of work, huh? Because he got the driving license just yesterday, yeah? Huh? Right? So we will be careful. Oh, guys. Okay, guys, I'm just joking. I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. He doesn't have any driving license. Okay, okay, sir. That's a joke, guys. That's a joke. Okay, so now we are ready to to start our uh, driving to Rome. Okay, but before. Uh, uh, before to start to give you a presentation of Rome, I want to give you some information about uh, Civitavecchia and about the history of the place. Is this your first call in Italy? Yeah. No. Where have you been yesterday? Uh, Flo Pisa. Livorno. Livorno. And then you went to Florence, Pisa, Pisa. Pisa right. Yeah. So this is your second visit with a ship in Italy, I suppose. Mm. Huh? Yeah. So I give you a warm welcome to Civitavecchia. This is a uh, uh, the name of uh, the town uh, which is uh, hosting the Norwegian jade. So Civitavecchia, into the Italian language, it means uh, the old town or the old city. And in actual fact, the first uh, human settlement in the territory of the present day of Civitavecchia dates back to the Etruscan period. But it was only with the Emperor Trajan in the year 107 AD that this place was founded. Oh. The Emperor Trajan commissioned to the architect Apollodorus from Damascus the construction of a new port for the city of Rome. And around this port arose a stronghold which took the name of Centum Celle. So the Latin name of the town is was Centum Celle. Centum Celle into the Latin language it means uh, the old town, the old city. Um, no, sorry, it means uh, 100 in lets. What huh? to chell it means 100 lets, maybe because of the shape of the cost of this part of the Tyrrhenian Sea. But somebody else says that Centum chell stems for 100 rooms because the Emperor Trajan built his personal villa in this area. Anyway, they didn't find any tracks, any ruins of this villa, but we know it from the chronicles. Uh, so, in the 9th century AD, the town was under the attack of uh, uh, the Saracens. Uh, uh, Saracens uh, were uh, uh, Turk civilization, so the town was under the rays of the Saracens. And for this reason, the inhabitants of Centum Celle 
had to find refuge in the nearby hills. They stayed there for about 200 years until when they were able to come back on, in the old Roman city and on the ruins of the old Roman settlement, they built another stronghold which took the name of Civitas Betula, the old town. So this should explain you why yeah. we call it this town in this way, Civita Vecchia. Anyway, uh, the town uh, was ruled by different feudal families during the Middle Ages and in the nine and uh, in the 1508, the Pope Julius II commissioned to the architect uh, Antonio from San Gallo the construction of uh, this monument that you have uh, just now in front of you. Eh? This is the fortress of the city, which <coughs> name is uh, Forte Michelangelo. And in actual fact, uh, Michelangelo Buonarroti designed uh, the clock tower of this uh, fortress. When they made the excavation for this fortress, they found some Roman ruins, eh? which is believed to belong to the Fermina. Santa Fermina is the patron of the city, and uh, she is uh, celebrated every every 28th with a great celebration in the city. The statue of uh, the statue of uh, the saint is uh, brought in precision throughout the streets of the historical center, and then here to the port. At the port, the statue is uh, carried on a tug boat which makes a small journey of the harbor and is uh, saluted by the many ships docked at the Civita Vecchia port. So very soon on your right inside, uh, you will be able to see the battle wanted walls of the city built in the 19th century. They were built under the wish of the Pope uh, Urban VIII to prevent the Civita Vecchia by the attack of the enemies from the seaside. On the right, you can see the fountain made by Luigi Van Vitelli, Luis Van Vito, a Dutch artist who worked for the Pope's in the uh, 18100. And now on the right, you can see the Livorno Gate. Now, this is one of the access to the city center from the port side. But very soon, uh, you will see something uh, dating back to the Romans' time, because on your both sides, you will see the ancient bricks of uh, the Civita Vecchia Harbor. <coughs> so we just enter in the oldest part of uh, the port. Very soon uh, we will uh, be entering the Darsena Romana. It was renovated, but this one, uh, it was the oldest part of the harbor. It was used for the maintenance of uh, the Imperial fleet. But nowadays it's used for the docking <coughs> of trawlers. So the trawlers go to the offshore every day to catch the fresh seafood which is sold in the afternoon to the Civita Vecchia people. So it means that in Civita Vecchia you can find the fresh seafood almost every day. So now we are getting out from Civita Vecchia Harbor. So, but before quitting out to the port, I want to introduce you a very important person. Because if you have a look on your left inside, on the road side, the middle of the roundabout on your left, you can see the statue of the Emperor Trajan, the father of the city. Uh, Emperor Trajan it was the one who commissioned the construction of the city in the 107 AD. Emperor Trajan was uh, the first not Roman emperor, not Italian one. Uh, emperor Trajan was uh, from Spain, from Italia. And under his empire, Rome reached the largest extensions of its borders. So the history of the town continues up to the 19th century when the town joined the free unified Italian state. It was the September 16th, 1870, when the troops led by the general Inobixio came into the town and uh, freed the place by the French troops that at the time we were defending the Papal State. And during the World War II, the town was 